My name is Richard Lovelady and it is February 15th, 2020. I'm gonna have this, it's okay, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be either between my wedding day photo or it's gonna be my debut photo. But I'm gonna have to go with the debut photo most likely. Reggie Sanders. <laughs> I'm gonna go between 1,500 and 2,000. I would say uh, my family in this game, honestly. I was that 23-year-old kid, not on a 40 man yet, eager to get there. Um, finally got there. Now I think I'm more motivated now to get there again and stay there. So I would say I'm a, I'm a little bit more um, motivated towards what I need to do now. There's been from, I would say, from last year and the year before to now, I've done a lot of, a lot of growing up, a lot of learning. Um, a lot of things I've, I've happened in life, I got married, about a house, you know, um, starting, starting basically our life, so to speak. So, to be more successful for the season that's upcoming, I would say um, there's a lot of things that I learned with my uh, my brief uh, stint to the big leagues. Uh, there's things I learned that I needed to clean up. There's some things I learned I need to improve on, and um, those are the biggest things, honestly. Because if you improve on those, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to be successful. So. Um, it was very surprising. So when I was at Royals Fan Fest, um, I took off the jersey and I went to go see Nick Heath, who was doing an autograph booth. And it surprised me that like, obviously I don't have like a, a recognizable face. I'm not like a, a Gordo or, you know, a Duffy where it just stands out. But people actually like came up to me and wanted to stop me while I was in line trying to get an autograph from Nick Heath. People stopped me in line and wanted to get my autograph, which was kind of kind of strange to me in a way, because like, oh, okay, I guess you do know who I am, so to speak. But no, not like not like in public or anything. No one really, not like so up around here, back home, no, nobody really like, you know, I guess studies your face that much. I'm not really sure. No, I haven't gotten really recognized in public much. If we actually have to say the, the most recent thing in the news, probably the coronavirus. Yeah, I guess, I mean, we just, we literally, our, our city just won a, a Super Bowl. I hope to continue to um, build relationships, um, continue to get that bond with guys. You know how when you get with a lot of teammates, long season, stuff happens, stuff like that. Uh, you tend to gel and get to know people better. And uh, you know, those are, those are gonna be your friends for life. You know, those are guys that you see more than your family. So I'd like to continue to um, build, build a, a bond relationship with not only my coaches, but my teammates. So. Uh, it depends. If we're talking about funny sports, I'm gonna have to go with bench warmers. I would say uh, be be seen, not heard. Um, I get caught away, especially with a lot of veteran guys there. You know, being kind of loud in a way. I would say to be seen, not heard. A few years from now, I hope to still be still be with the Royals and um, probably getting ready to start a family. I'll give you, okay, so I like, I like the chain smokers, uh, but if you wanna go rock, I would say um, it's between, I enjoy, I enjoy like a slow rock, so if you wanna talk about like Fleetwood Mac, um, I enjoy, I enjoy like a lot of old classic rock stuff, so uh, Led Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner. My, my walk up song is Cashmere by Led Zeppelin continue to work hard where you're at from a year from now, you'll thank yourself. The only big plans I have for this year would, would probably uh, be at the end of the season, which would be going on our honeymoon finally. So that we have not figured out a place yet. We're still like, you know, she want to go here, I want to go here sort of thing. Uh, it, means, it means absolutely everything. It means uh, you're you're honored to, to wear the name on the front and not the name on the back. You're, you care about uh, your community. You care about everyone around you. You care about your teammates, your coaches. Um, you're just, you're, you're brought up and you understand what it means to do to get the job done every day and to do it the right way on and off the field.